What's up guys? My name is Daniel Suarez and today we're going to be talking about something that I should have done for myself a long time ago and that is backing up Arch Linux. If you've seen my previous videos, I have mentioned before my kind of troubles with Arch Linux in the situation with updating I've had and I think it's just my personal uh, issues with my hardware and I don't think you'll have the same issues in running Arch but it is somewhat common in, in the idea of it not booting back up to a, uh, a, a desktop environment in some situations. So um, the, that, that being the case, sometimes I, I usually use GNOME 3 and having GNOME 3 break on its own is kind of a bummer and it kind of hurts my productivity. So usually if something breaks on my Arch installation, I will usually reinstall. Now doing that, I have to do like an evacuation, get an external hard drive, pull it out, and then be able to just like start pulling off things I want and keep. And then I have to think really quick, like, okay, what do I want to keep? And then reinstall because I want, I want my Arch Linux back. So, um... One thing I went into was CrashPlan. Now, CrashPlan is a fantastic service you can get. I'll have all the things in the write-up on my website, antonsuarez.com. You can go take a look at that. That will be in the description below. That was the previous video, and I'll have that probably annotated somewhere now because I mentioned it. So um, that will be on the write-up, so you can see the installs for Ubuntu, Arch Linux, and Debian. Those are the three I'm going to be showing on the website. Any others on the other distribution side that you're using, that is up to you to find. Um, so let's go through the CrashPlan software. So... Once you back up your hard drive from the, I use an external drive, but it seems it wanted to do the um, actual online drive as well. You can do Crash Plan Central, and then uh, that's a uh, cloud backup service. So as as you can see here, it's it's backing up uh, almost uh, 200 gigabytes, over 200 gigabytes of uh, data to their servers. So that's kind of cool. If you don't want, if you don't have an external hard drive at the ready, you can back up to their servers, which is pretty easy to do. Um, next is restore, so right here is Linux backup, and I have that formatted, and I have my root, home, my username, and then all my data and all my files. Fantastic way to do it, because you can restore things separately. So say I only want uh, the Adobe file, I can restore that uh, manually, and things like that, and it's really, really cool to be able to do that. So now we'll go to settings, we'll go through settings, so now we have uh, different different settings. So we have the name of the computer, um, the User is away when not active for 15 minutes. So if you're away from your computer, uh, crash panel will notice you're inactive and start a backup when you're not near the computer. So it doesn't hurt anything you're doing. Uh, backup, uh, verify selection every day. So we'll try to backup every day. Um, I can change it to like 30 days or a week or whatever. Uh, this is the history tab. The history tab shows you what, how your backup went. It's start and complete rate. And if it failed, it will come up here as well. I'm not going to go into the friends tab because that has a code that you can activate. So I'm not going to do that. Um, and then destination. So this is what the one thing I'm going to show you because this is one thing that tricked me, tripped me up when I first tried the software, and it was almost to the point where I wasn't going to uh, keep going with it. So what you do is right. So to you, you'd think adding a destination to uh, this would be easy, and it is in a way, but it's kind of not. So as you can see, that it's open. So when you select a backup drive, so say we say select, and we want to attach a backup drive, it will pop this open, and you would think that it would have the Linux backup here, like listed as a hard drive, but it's not. So you have to go in here and you'll see your hard drive, your main hard drive. And I'm looking around here and I'm like, okay, where is the external hard drive? Maybe it's down below, maybe it will pop up separately. I thought it would be a separate drive. And it doesn't detect as that. So what you have to go is run. And in run, you'll see media and then your username, whatever that is. And then, then you'll see the hard drive that's mounted. So Linux backup. And then in here I have backups. So backups plus lost plus found, things like that. And then um, there it goes, crash plan. I think crashing. Did it crash? No, I don't think it did. I think it just shut off. It auto closes automatically, so we'll pop that back open, and uh, we'll. I'll even show you when that's opening again. I'll show you what the backup folder looks like. So it does encrypt it. So as you can see here, it's encrypted. It doesn't actually give you the ability to um, just look at the files yourself. You need CrashPlan software to actually look at the data. So if you're more into being able to open the hard drive, like say the Windows or Yosemite, I can mount these and just go right into the file system. If you're willing to do something like that, then I'd say use a cloning tool. So clone link exact hard drive, and put it to an external, so you have the exact clone and you can do that I think that would be a better option if you're looking to be able to just go inside and pick a folder you want and pull it out for my uh, for my abilities I like crash plan and it's, it's automatic backup so I don't have to keep thinking okay I just made a whole thing thing whole set of files I need to back up I gotta go clone the drive again or throw them over so I'd rather have it where it automatically backs up and I don't really have to think of it as it goes in the background so uh, yeah that's going to be it for this short little video about CrashPlan. What do you think about CrashPlan? Do you use CrashPlan? Do you use rsync? Do you use something else to back up your Arch or any distribution? If you do, leave it in the comments below and I will message you back. As always, my name is Andy Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.